Alright, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 30. So, to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting 30 on both sides. So, and these two cancel out, and I get 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x minus 30 is equal to 0. Now, from here... I'm going to rewrite 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x minus 30 is equal to 0. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of x to the power of 3. And I have this plus 2 to the power of x minus 30 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to let 2 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So I get y to the power of 3 plus y minus 30 is equal to 0. So from here, negative 30, I'm going to rewrite that as negative 27 minus 3. And I'm going to reorder this so that it turns into y to the power of 3 minus 27 plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. Now 27 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3. So I have y to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So now this turns into y minus 3 times y squared plus 3y plus 9. And I have plus y minus 3 at the end is equal to 0. Now from here, I can factor out y minus 3, so I get y minus 3 times y squared plus 3y plus 9 plus 1 is equal to 0, <clears throat> which turns into y minus 3 times y squared plus 3y plus 10 is equal to 0. So now if I divide this into two equations, I get y minus 3 is equal to 0, and y squared plus 3y plus 10 is equal to 0. So to start for y plus minus 3 equals 0, I'm going to add 3 on both sides. So I get y equals 3, and for y squared plus 3y plus 10 equals 0, I'm going to use the quadratic formula to solve this, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 3, and c is 10. So I get y equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 9, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 10, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 40 over 2 which is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 31 over 2. And you can't take the square root of a negative number, so we can't find the solution to this. So all we're left with is y equals 3. And remember how we let 2 to the power of x equal y. So now I get 2 to the power of x is equal to 3. So to solve this, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I have log 2 to the power of x is equal to log of 3. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So I get b times log a. In this case, I have log 2 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So this turns into x times log 2 is equal to log 3, which means x is equal to log 3 over log 2, which is equal to 1.585.